headline we're seeing video of the moment the massive tree came crashing down on two cars in Miami Friday afternoon. This comes after some strong storms passed through yesterday. This morning we're hearing concerns about another tree just a few feet away with a similar problem. Local 10's Trent Kelly is in Miami with more. Yeah, guys, we're not just talking about any tree here, but rather an 80 foot pine tree 80 feet tall. That tree came toppling over right here on the street behind me in Miami's Edgewater neighborhood yesterday. In fact, if you take a look at that Tesla, you can see the back end of it is all smashed in. At least one other car was also damaged here yesterday. While no one was hurt during all of this, concern is growing about a second tree just behind that Tesla. That tree also left leaning following yesterday's storms. Some of the neighbors here now fearing that could be the next tree to fall. Cameras capturing a massive tree crashing down on Northeast 27th Street in Edgewater. The large tree hitting a Tesla and crushing this truck. My the truck's owner, thankful he wasn't sitting inside when the tree toppled over. If I was in the truck, I, I probably wouldn't be here to tell you the story. That 80-foot pine falling over during yesterday's strong storms. In fact, just behind me here is what's left of that tree. You can see it's now reduced down to a stump. Neighbors who live in this area say they feel lucky that the wind yesterday pushed that tree over into the street. Had it been blowing in the opposite direction, that tree could have crashed straight into this home right behind me. Concern now growing about another tree just feet away that's also leaning, worrying the renter who stays below. He was at work when a neighbor called to tell him what happened. The giant 80 foot pine tree in your yard just fell. Christopher Ortega coming home to the mess, adding that the owner of the home is now in contact with city officials about the future of the other tree. What happens if that tree falls too? And like, what happens if the gust of wind pushes it towards the house? So that's like, you know, you know, I don't want to be sleeping and while I'm sleeping, then, you know, a giant tree comes and like smashes me while I'm in bed. Yeah, that, of course, is a huge concern for that renter. He tells us the owner of the home that he's renting from is now working with city officials to figure out if this second tree does, in fact, pose a danger and if it may need to be removed. Regardless, though, it is pretty remarkable that no one in this area was hurt by all of this as that tree came down with such force yesterday. It sent huge chunks of wood just like this one flying everywhere. Some of this wood having some very sharp edges. So again, neighbors feeling very lucky that no one here was seriously hurt. For now, that is the latest from Miami. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.